fashion's been sleeping, like the music industry was when digital music came to the fore. Digitisation is about to happen to our clothes. Data by design, data becoming paramount around the body, pushing a button for fit, it will be a necessity. EXO can live in people's wardrobes, digitise their clothes, allow them to live with digital technology around their body in a very authentic, amusing, interesting, emotional way. Fashion is kind of still quite antiquated and the way that we consume content is so quick. For fashion to, to be able to keep up with that, which it has to, it needs to be able to engage and interface. One way of viewing XO is we're kind of the socket. We're enabling fashion to link and, and to couple with technology on and around our bodies. I think for both of us, you know, we're fundamentally we're hybrids. We're made up of fashion designers, engineers, working alongside material experts and product designers complete four corners coming together to distinctively design these products so that they're authentically fashion. We have a phrase, making science fiction science fact, and that neither comes from Benjamin nor I. It's a combination of building very, very strong narratives. And before we even go to technology or design, we build scenarios of future ways of living. We'll write these stories and share these stories with our collective to create things that, that feel like the ultimate fantasy. Intimacy and emotion are two really, really big themes in our work and they're very closely associated to fashion. You know, we're all about connected bodies and the emotion of connected bodies and that's really, really key. That kind of underlines what we do. So some things are about moments, big manifestations, working with artists. We gather big crowds together and they ultimately see the human body in a very different way. Historically, fashion was really about spectacle and it was about embracing the moment. And what we can bring through really fantastic inputs and outputs is this kind of new way of the artist becoming this peacock again. The story of how we began to work with performers is really interesting. I was at the time working at Philips Electronics and we built a dress called the Babel, which is a blushing dress. It read your levels of arousal and blushed for you. And we were in no way implying that we would wander around with our heart on our sleeves, but we were looking at the movement from intelligent to sensitive technologies. Lady Gaga and her stylist Nicola Formichetti became obsessed with this dress and started a campaign to try to get us to show our work outside of the, the technology environment. And then the Black Eyed Peas stylist, Bea Ackerland, she had been set the brief by Will I Am, we want to be robots. And she cleverly sought out all the people that were working in wearable tech and we were a big, big part of that. Multiple artists came after that, Azalea Banks, worked with Wayne McGregor for a long time in more artistic ways. It was a very, very natural evolution. Having an element of fan culture attached to Studio XO is really, really important. And the artists that we're working with are enabling us to build a level of contact with the general public. Our fashion future will be much more like our fashion past. And I think we'll invest in product and live with them. And I think the kind of co-creative relationship between consumer and product will totally transform as your clothes upgrade, as you're embedding content in them, as you're transforming them for fit, as the body changes and our kind of levels of desire and ambitions for the body transform. I think what's brilliant for Studio XO is Gaga is the ultimate muse. House of Gaga is a very, very, very small collection of highly creative people. We've been very welcomed into that collective. I think coming from one collective group of people who sits in a room and makes crazy things, what I enjoyed so much about working with Nancy and Benjamin is that they sort of do the same thing. They bring something to the table that we can't even understand. It's so fitting the way we dream and the kinds of things we want to create and where she's at philosophically in, in her own personal artistic development. She sees herself as an ambassador for fashion and technology because of the platform and the audience she has. There's a really, really, really good fit. With Volantis specifically, it's a very collaborative development. We had ideas about dresses that could fly or float or levitate. The challenge was to actually make her fly. Thank you so much for coming here tonight. I wanted to, for the first time ever, introduce you to Volantis.
Volantis is made up of six large-scale drones that come together to lift Gaga off the ground. It's battery-operated and it's completely green. Gaga steps in and it's then flown by pilots who are on the sidelines, much like you would a model airplane or helicopter. Putting technology on someone's back is not easy. I mean, the way that they took a little idea of saying, we want to fly, and then four months later, we're flying somewhere is shocking, really. The beauty of the machine, from a design perspective, was her limitations, that it was custom built specifically for Gaga, for her payload. So from our point of view, how do we create a carbon fibre dress or something that appears as a dress that's as light and unobtrusive to the rest of the machine, weighing every element of the garment so that we absolutely matched it to the lift. All of those little details became paramount. It's really important to place these things into the theatre of everyday life. So if you're going to create a flying dress, you have to create a flight suit. You need to design something for it to be flown in. You have to design somewhere for it to fly. We built her flight couture, so everything she was wearing, her flight jacket that she wore afterwards. So it really gave this 360 degree experience. There are so many people throughout the years who have done technical clothing, clothing that lights up or does whatever. Nancy and Benjamin are so next level and forward thinking. You could tell them, I need this to look like a gown, and they will sit in a room, and Benjamin will sit in the corner and do the technology, and Nancy's sketching everything and working on the fabrics, and nobody's really doing that. Everybody looks like a robot in technological clothing, but Nancy really understands femininity and women and the need for a performer specifically, Gaga, to feel sexy and look sexy in this clothing that can be somewhat cumbersome at times. The body and clothes are the final frontier. We believe that fashion hasn't caught up with the speed of our, our everyday lives. And as a result, there is a space there for a new mode, a new blueprint. You know, we believe that the work that we are doing at the moment, we're laying down the framework. We're really interested in, in dreaming up what the future of fashion is. Our relationships with technology and how, as that moves closer and closer to the body, our clothes adapt and, and will change to meet those demands. With digital skins, first we see that as you know, being you know, the interface between the kind of epidermis and, and us. And, and in some ways that is textile or material around the body. And there is so, so, so much interesting stuff going on in bioelectronics. And you know, we can't deny that that's happening and, and the kinds of products that will happen in the future. You know, everybody's kind of curious to know, you know, will our skin be a camouflage? Will we, you know, will it actually ultimately act like a chameleon? And there are very, very high chances, you know, with material science. They, they will invade our skins, but I think it has to be in the hands you know, of the right people, designed in the right way, brought to the masses in the right way. It really is going to come down to compelling design, joining the dots between engineering and, and creativity, co-creating with the consumer, that we can take things from the couture environment and scale them up in numbers take pieces from the work that we do with artists and on stage in a very controlled environment and, and bring them to the masses. First, you know, accessories, which is the, the market we're in now. Then we move to the, you know, fashion as a node. And then we will ultimately get into hybrid humanism, you know, digital skins, the whole kind of singularity movement that's being talked about. Fashion revolution, we believe that, that that's what's coming. Oh.